The jury was empaneled at St. George's No. 1 High Court last week Thursday with plans to start taking evidence in the matter today. However, High Court Judge Madam Justice Paula Guilford was forced to discharge the jurors due to the prosecution team's inability to produce one of its key witnesses in its case against murder accused Ryan Griffith. The missing witness, identified as No. 4, has relocated to the United Kingdom. Crown Counsel Howard Pinnock, who is leading the case against Ryan Griffith, assured the court that all efforts are being made to locate the witness and arrangements will be made for her to be here at the next session of the Assizes. The witness is included on a list of 12 persons identified by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution to give evidence to support its murder case against Griffith. The defendant, a bus driver, is charged with non capital murder in connection with the June 2019 death of Spencer Gordon Francis, who was found motionless with a rope around his neck on the floor of his family's home in Corinth, St. David. Griffith is being represented by attorney Jerry Edwin, who shared his views on the matter of the missing witness. This is a witness who claimed to have heard certain statements in the case, and she was not available because she has actually moved out of Grenada. She's residing outside of the country now. And so the prosecutor's office, the DPP's office has asked the judge, and the judge agreed that this matter will be set back to the next term of the court, which is in the new term, which starts in September of this year. Edwin also spoke about the defense team's readiness for the trial. Mm. We were prepared to go to trial on this matter, and I think the prosecutor was also ready to go. But without this vital witness, the matter could not proceed. And so Mr. Griffiths uh, will continue to remain on bail, and we assume that in the next session after September 2023, the matter will be brought back to those assizes. Griffith is currently on $50,000 bail with conditions. He had previously surrendered all his travel documents to the court and has been instructed to have no interference with the witnesses in the matter. He also must report to the St. David's police station twice weekly. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.